Now at six, the last of Miami's cocaine cowboys captured after 26 years as a fugitive. Gustavo Falcone was nabbed last night while on a bike ride with his wife in a neighborhood near Disney World. Today, he appeared before a judge and will likely be moved to Miami. CBS 4's Gary Nelson is live in downtown Miami with a story you saw first on four. Gary. Well, this is something like a plot from a crime novel, but it is not fiction. This indicted Miami drug kingpin took it on the lam 26 years ago and has been hiding essentially in plain sight. Captured, Gustavo Falcone collared after more than a quarter century on the lam. In the 1980s, he, his brother Willie Falcone, and Sal Magluda, the feds say, were the biggest coke importers in South Florida, making $2.5 billion. This 1991 indictment charged them with a 75 ton cocaine enterprise. They used their racing boat business as a front for dope dealing that allowed them to live in opulent lifestyle. Willie Falcone and Magluda would eventually be convicted. It wasn't easy. Witnesses had a nasty habit of turning up dead. West Miami Police Chief Nelson Andrew, then a homicide detective, investigated the murders. When their pipeline was threatened to, with uh, destruction, they started whacking witnesses, hiring hitmen to prevent these witnesses from testifying against them in trial. But while Willie Falcone and Sal Magluda were found guilty, it took two trials because jurors were bribed in the first one, Gustavo Falcone had vanished. Filmmaker Billy Corbin produced the documentary Cocaine Cowboys. He fled, but he didn't flee alone. He fled with his wife, his son, and his daughter. So this family of four literally disappeared. Over the years, Marshalls released flyers with photos of how Falcone might have aged. No luck. So how did they catch him? He had obtained a fraudulent Florida driver's license under the name Lewis Rice. But smart as he was, Falcone left a bogus Hialeah address on the license, a license he showed after an accident here in central Florida. And agents followed leads to his house in Kissimmee. They took him down as he rode his bike home. And he maintained his name was Lewis Rice until the deputy marshals told him, look, we're going to go fingerprint you. It's just a matter of time. We're going to find out who you really are. And at that point in time, he admitted his name was Gustavo Falcone. Falcone apparently didn't work. Investigators suspect the alleged cocaine kingpin lived off millions of dollars stashed away a long time ago. As anxious as Falcone was to get out of town 26 years ago, he's now anxious to come back to Miami. He waived all extradition proceedings in a courtroom in Orlando today. Interestingly, he pleaded poverty to the judge and a public defender was appointed to represent him. We're live in Miami, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.